Hi, brother teacher here. I just want to give you some things um, that um, I know for a fact are cancer causing. There are a plethora, I mean, it's just a mounting of things that are unhealthy for us that could cause uh, havoc in the human body. But I'm going to mention some very common things uh, that you can relate to, that you probably have been doing out of habit and out of tradition for many, many years. But uh, just be advised uh, and also understand this too. Uh, for everything that you do negative to your body, it does have a positive uh, answer to it as well. There's a remedy to it. There's always something that's better for you. Okay, so don't think that you're missing out just because you don't get to taste your favorite food anymore. There's always going to be an alternative. Uh, you have to do, as I said before, a little research on your own. You know, be in charge of your own destiny. Now, I can give you uh, some pointers and I can tell you some things, but there's nothing like the gratification that you feel when you've done the work yourself. And it makes you convicted and it makes you convinced when you have put some effort in your own research. Okay? Now, here's some things that you need to consider removing from your daily diet. One of those things, and some of these are guilty pleasures, I guess you can consider them. Uh, microwave popcorn. First of all, if you watch my videos in time past, I told you about the dangers of a microwave. It's a radioactive wave. It's radiation, in other words. When was radiation ever good? Especially in consuming it. You know, uh, anytime you cook anything in a microwave, you have destroyed all of its nutritional properties. There's nothing there. Okay? Number two, processed meats. Full of nitrates and nitrites. High in sodium, in other words. These things are artificial preservatives. And what are processed meats? Some examples are deli meats, ham, uh, sliced meats such as turkey, bologna, and so forth. Those packaged meats, uh, sausage, bacon, uh, sausage patties, hamburgers, anything that you buy in a package uh, that you have for breakfast and so forth. Those are processed meats. Hot dogs is a big one. Okay, that's a processed meat type food. Don't do it. Okay? Any non-organic fruits and vegetables. Non-organic means that it did not grow on its own through nature without being sprayed with pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, and so forth. Roundup, glyphosate, okay? Organic foods is anything that grows from nature, but when it becomes inorganic or not organic is when you add chemicals to keep the bugs off and to keep, you know, different harsh conditions from occurring with that particular plant or vegetable or what have you, okay? So stay away from anything that's been treated with any type of chemical. All right, number four, potato chips. No value in a potato chip whatsoever. High in trans fats, very unstable in the human body. As much as you may love potato chips and potato chip products, not to mention the sodium. Speaking of soul, DM, number five, soda pop. I like a pop every once in a while, but don't forget what I said about the 90-10 rule that I have adopted for myself. Soda pop has no nutrition in it, like many of the other things. It tastes good, it's a lot of sugar in it, a lot of high fructose corn syrup and flavor, but it is a chemical. Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, 7-Up, and various other uh, beverage companies have made a mint off of our bad habits. It's not good for us. Okay, processed flour, sugar, anything that's white, it's been bleached and processed. There's nothing there, no nutrition whatsoever. To include artificial sweeteners, equal, Splenda, sweet and low, NutraSweet, aspartame, and even the term that you will see on some ingredients called sucralose. That's a hidden artificial sweetener. It's not natural sugar. Uh, GMOs, genetically modified. If you 
or modifying anything that's natural, you're going to end up with a hybrid, something that's not real. It's not 100% real. It's not organic. Stay away from that stuff. High fructose corn syrup. And last but not least, I've said it before and i say it again, medications. Pharmaceutical drugs that are prescribed by your doctor and over-the-counter drugs. All of your syrups, all of your tussins, all of your Tylenols, your ibuprofens, your aspirins, and so forth. All of this is bad for your liver. It's bad for your stomach lining. It's bad for your kidneys. Understand that. We've been taught and trained and programmed to think that just because our head is hurting, we have to go to the drugstore and purchase an over-counter pain reliever. But let me tell you, you're only treating symptoms and not the problem. You need to find out what the problem is, and then you can holistically treat the problem. And 99.9% .9 of the times, the problem is that we're eating, ingesting, and drinking the wrong things. That's it. And that's all. This is Brother Teacher. So long.